Hey, it's so good to see you again. I want you to go into 2023 ready to rock and roll. So I don't want you to wait till 2023 to get started with that. What I am doing, and you can take what I'm doing and make it your own in a way that works for you because I know we're all different. We all have different families, different things going on behind the scenes and all of that. So again, I'm sharing what works for me in hopes that it will spark some ideas and some things that might interest you in order to move yourself to the next level that you want to move to because that's what people want to do. For me, as I'm moving into the end of this year, I am starting to think about, okay, how can I show up better? How can I show up more present? How can I create my goals in a way where I'm thinking, oh, this feels good to me. So they're aligned goals, but they're also goals that I'm like, well, holy moly, it's getting me out of my comfort zone. And I want you to think about that too. I don't want you just to choose goals that are safe, that keep you complacent because you're not meant to just stay complacent. Shocker. I know, right? I know. You are meant to do great things and you are meant to be the best version of you. And I think about if you're a parent like me, one of the things that I've noticed this year, my son is 13, my daughter is 11, that they were adorable as kids. Like they were probably the cutest kids I know. I'm biased, I'm their parents, I'm their, their mother, not dual parents, either way. But this age, they have become the coolest kids. Like they are hilarious and they're spunky and they are vibrant and they get excited about the littlest things. Like my son yesterday came in and I was like, what are you making? And he goes, I'm making hot cocoa. And like, my son is two inches taller than me, this big burly sports guy. And he was just really excited for some hot chocolate, which I call it hot chocolate. I've never tried it hot cocoa. I digress. But he was just hilarious to me. They have these amazing personalities, but they also see me and my husband when we're not so amazing and we're things can get tense sometimes. Life happens. Nobody is bubbly 24 seven. If you are, what sort of serial killer are you? Like, honestly, <laughs> but you, we as parents, I want to be an example for my kids. And so I'm thinking about how I can be a better example. My son says that he potentially wants to play sports in college. And so in order for him to do that, there are certain habits and things that he has to hit. There are certain practices and routines that he needs to be doing in order to play at that level. And so if I'm not being the example, sure, there are some kids and there are some people who are super like self-sufficient and my son is self-sufficient, but I firmly 100% believe you need to lead by example. And so if I'm not doing the things that I say I'm going to do, if I'm not creating the routines that I say I'm going to create, if I'm not honoring myself, I can't expect my son to do that. I can't expect my daughter to do that. I can't expect our house to run in a way where it's like, hey, I'm honoring my commitments to myself. You need to honor your commitments to yourself and to what you want to do for your future while I am exemplifying that as well. And so this, is all about what you want your 2023 to look like. And if you have people that are looking up to you, if you have a business where people are working with you, what are you showing them? I'm not saying showing perfection. There are going to be days where I stumble. Full disclosure, I ate a zebra cake right before this. It was delicious. I probably should not have done that, but it was yummy. But again, it's balance, it's realisticness. It is having the conversations about things with your kids, it's with your clients, with yourself, so that you can move yourself forward. What I want you to do, write this down. I want you to, and my dog apparently is all about this too, so if you hear him barking, I apologize. I want you to write down what your goals are. I actually have only chosen one personal goal this year, one business goal, and then one health goal. So I am focused on three things this year. I'm not focusing on a hundred things. I can't drive a hundred cars. 
I can only drive one car and I'm actually attempting to drive three, but each area of life is what I'm focusing on right now. And I want you to think about what you want your goals to be. And then I actually want you to write them out and I want you to put them in a place that you will see them. So it's reminded to you daily. I want you to take 15 minutes to put a plan of action in order for you. So you know your next logical steps on what to do. And thirdly, I don't want you to wait till the new year. I want you to get started today. I know, I know, I know that it's asking a lot for you to start two weeks early because, oh, heaven forbid, you can still eat the cookies on Christmas, I promise. Like, <laughs> But give yourself the ability to set yourself up for success. Don't be that person who is always going to say, I'm going to start on Monday. I'm going to get started on Monday. And then Monday comes around. I'm going to start next Monday. No, friend. No. Start now. Create. Create that consistency in your life now because that's what's going to propel you to the next level. That's, if I'm being completely honest, can I be honest for just a second? If I'm being blatantly honest, the only thing you need to think about with any goal that you're doing is consistency. Hey, I want to build a business. Are you being consistent? Are you reaching out to people? Are you showing up? I want to lose weight. Are you consistently working out? I don't like working out. It doesn't work for me. Okay, then is your food perfect? Almost perfect, I should say. Are you consistently eating your vegetables? The right sorts of vegetables? Not the ones lathered in cheese and buttery biscuits? Biscuits aren't vegetable, but whenever I say buttery, I think about biscuits, so I, I apologize. <laughs> but think about that. Everything that we do in order to be successful, to move the next step to the next level, whatever, it's about being consistent. So I want you to think about, I've said think about that a lot. Take the time, show up, put a small plan in place so that you can move forward. If you have any questions, if you want somebody to hold you accountable in a nice and gentle, but also pushing you sort of way, reach out to me. I have a few, three one-on-one -on -one spots available where we work 12 weeks together. We meet every single week. And I am going to help you push through whatever limiting belief or whatever thing you need to push through so that we can get you consistent so that you are hitting those milestones and those goals that you want to hit in the new year. Reach out to me if that's something you're interested in. I will chat with you soon and I hope you have a fabulous day.